Unit 7, Day 5, Solving Systems of Equations by Elimination with Multiplication. This is Mr. McGough up at R12. So, in our Day 4 video, we saw that we can solve systems of equations using a process called elimination by taking the same variable with opposite coefficient, adding the two equations together and that would eliminate that variable. But here we have two variables, but their coefficients are not opposites. So I have to pick one of them and find a way to manipulate, to multiply that equation by something to get that coefficient to be the opposite of the coefficient in the other equation. So I'm going to look at the x terms here. I know that 2x, if I multiply that by negative 2, I'll get negative 4x. But I can't do it to just one term. I'm going to have to multiply every term, the entire equation, times negative 2. So negative 5y times negative 2 is plus 10y. Negative 31 times negative 2 is positive 62. Now I have that opposite coefficient. So I'm going to take that first equation, and I'm going to write it immediately underneath of my new multiplied equation, and I'm going to add the two equations together. Negative 4x plus positive 4x, they eliminate the variable x. 10y minus 3y is 7y, and that's going to equal 62 minus 13, which is 49. To solve for y, I'll divide both sides by y's coefficient. So y equals 7. That's half of my answer. Now I need to go back and get x. So 2x minus 5 times y, y is 7, should equal negative 31. So negative 5 times 7 is negative 35. So 2x minus 35 equals negative 31. I'll add 35 to each side. 2x equals 4. 2 times a number equals 4, so x equals 2. So my solution is 2, comma, 7. Or at least I think it is. I'm going to go back and check my work. So I go up to my first equation. 4 times x, which is 2, minus 3 times y, which is 7, should equal negative 13 if we're right. 4 times 2 is 8, minus 3 times 7 is 21, and 8 minus 21 does equal negative 13, so my solution checks. Number 2, again, I want to find a way to get my coefficients the same, but here, unlike in number 1, I'm not in that standard format yet. Again, to do the standard format, I want something times x plus something times y to equal a number. So I'm going to get all of the x terms all the way to the left, all the y terms on the left side of the equal sign, but to the right of x, and then just numbers to the far right. So I'll start with numbers. I'm going to subtract 37 from each side of the first equation. So I get 6y equals 5x minus 30. 7. Now I'm going to subtract 5x from each side. y and x, I can't subtract one from the other, so I just end up with negative 5x plus 6y equals negative 37. The second equation, I need to add 9 to each side to get all the numbers to the right. And then I need to subtract 4y from each side. So I get 3x minus 4y equals 23. Now, looking at this, do I have any opposite coefficients? Negative 5, positive 3, definitely not opposites. Positive 6, negative 4, definitely not opposites. So I need to multiply both equations 
by some number, different numbers, to be able to get my coefficients opposite one another. So I'll look at the x's. I want to look for what 3 times negative 5 is. That's negative 15. So I'm going to take the first equation and multiply everything times 3. I'm going to take the second equation. I'm going to multiply everything by 5. So now on the first equation, I get fifth, negative 15x plus 18y equals negative 111. On the second equation, I get positive 15x. That's what I'm looking for. Opposite coefficients. Minus 20y equals 115. Now I have something I can work with. I'm going to take that first equation. I'm going to write it immediately underneath of my second equation. I'm going to add the two equations together. Again, equal. So left equals right. So I'm actually adding the same thing to both sides of my equation. Basic rule of algebra, do one to one side what you do to the other. So the x's cancel each other out. Negative 20y plus 18y is negative 2y. 115 minus 111 is 4. I just want y by itself, so I'll divide both sides by negative 2, and y equals negative 2. That's half my answer. Now I need to take one of these equations, the original equation, and substitute back in that value negative 2 for y. So 3x minus 9 equals 4 times negative 2, my y, plus 14. 3x minus 9 equals negative 8 plus 14. I can combine these terms together. 3x minus 9 equals 6. Now I'll start solving for x. I'll add 9 to each side. 3x equals 15. Divide both sides by 3. So x equals 5. So my solution is 5 comma negative 2. Now, I hope so. I'm going to go back and check my answer by using that first equation. So my first equation, 6y plus 37 equals 5x. So let's see, y is negative 2, 6 times negative 2, plus 37. Should equal 5 times x, x is 5. So negative 12 plus 37 equals 25. 25 equals 25. Check. That is our solution. Go ahead and pause the video for a moment and try A and B, and then I'll go through them and you can see how you did. So first, we see that A is in the right format. Something times x plus something times y equals a number. The second equation, also in the appropriate format. My coefficient of x, 5 or 2. My coefficient of y, 1 or negative 3. Well, in my view, it'll be easier to work with y first. You can work with either, but by using y first, all I have to do is multiply this first equation times positive 3, and I will get 15x plus 3y equals negative 30. Now I have the opposite coefficient for x by only doing one multiplication. So I'll write this equation underneath of my second equation. And then I'll sum them together. The reason, by the way, that we put always in this order, you can kind of think about it as like hundreds place, tens place, and ones place, or something similar, where you want to keep everything in a column and only work with hundreds with the hundreds, or should I say x's with x's, 
and Ys with Ys, and numbers with numbers. So it just gives us an easy format to work from. So here, 2x plus 15x is 17x. The Ys eliminate one another, and that equals... negative 17. Oh, I forgot to add my zero there. So if 17x equals negative 17, I'll divide both sides by 17. x equals negative 1. Now I need to go back and get my y. So 5 times x, 5 times negative 1, plus y equals negative 10. Negative 5 plus y equals negative 10. I need to add 5 to each side. So y equals negative 5. So my solution will be negative 1 comma negative 5. Now I'll do a quick check. 2 times negative 1 minus 3 times negative 5. Let's see if that equals 13. That's my second equation I'm using now as my check. So negative 2 plus positive 15 equals 13. Yes, negative 2 plus 15 equals 13. B, x, y, number, x, y, number. But this time, I have 3x or 2x. Neither one of those is an easy removal. 2y and negative 5y. Well, at least they have opposite signs. So let's go ahead and take and multiply to get rid of our y terms. So here, I have to multiply everything by 5. Here, I have to multiply everything by 2. So on the first equation, 3x times 5 is 15x. 2y times 5 is plus 10y. 5 times 5 is 25. In the blue equation, 2x times 2, 4x. Negative 5y times 2, negative 10y. Negative 41 times 2, negative 82. Let's put that first equation underneath. And now we see the y's will eliminate. I get 19x equals... negative 57. I'll divide both sides by 19. I get x equals negative 3. So halfway there, if x equals negative 3, let's go back and find y. So 2 times x, 2 times negative 3, minus 5 times y should equal negative 41. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, minus 5y, equals negative 41. I'll add 6 to each side. So negative 5y equals negative 35. Divide both sides by negative 5, and y equals 7. So my solution is negative 3, comma, 7. Now let's go back to that first equation and check our work. 3 times negative 3 plus 2 times 7 should equal 5. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. 2 times 7 is 14. Negative 9 plus 14 does equal 5. So we are good to go. Last problem. Which coordinate is a solution to the system of equations? Well, let's see. All of my answers are x. So let's try to eliminate y. So x minus 2y equals 5. If I'm going to try to eliminate y, I need this term to be negative 8y. So I'm going to multiply everything by 4. So 4x minus 8y equals 20. Then I'll take that second equation and write it in. 3x plus 8y 
equals 1. The y's eliminate one another, negative 8y and positive 8y. 4x plus 3x is 7x, which equals 20 plus 1, which is 21. Divide both sides by 7, x equals 3, which is answer B. Now, I like to check my work. So, I'm going to go back to that first equation and put in 3 for x. 3 minus 2y equals 5. I'll subtract 3 from each side. Negative 2y equals 2. Divide both sides by negative 2. y equals negative 1. I'll check that in my first equation. Correction, my second equation. So 3 times x, which is 3, plus 8 times y, which is negative 1, should equal 1. 9 minus 8 equals 1. So it checks. So even though I had my answer a little while ago, it's always good to finish the problem to check your work. And that is it for day 5.